Lesson number 22. I'll be talking about the traditional way of how to end a game. Except for draw games, a game ends when one of the player admits and declares that he has lost the game. We call it to resign. Toryo in Japanese. It means to throw the game. Now let's suppose the player on this side will resign. Situations where you want to make a resignation are like, you know, when you simply lost your major piece by mistake, or when your king is severely attacked. While your opponent's king being still safe and it looks desperate situation for you. Or or when you can see your king is in a forced mate. So anyway, you resign when you believe you don't have any chance of winning. Oh, and actually, even when your king is mated, you have to resign. The game doesn't end until you resign, okay? Now, I'll show you how to resign. Oh, to begin with, you can make the resignation only when it's your turn to play. Don't resign when it's your opponent's turn. Now, when you resign, you put your hand gently on the peace stand, or just above the peace stand, and say, "Makemashita," or "Arimasen," and make a bow. "Makemashita" means "I've lost." "Arimasen" means I have no more move to make. Usually we say makemashita. It is said that originally, long time ago, they pick up the pieces in hand and spread them on the board to express resignation. But it kind of messes up the board, so we just put the hand like this. Oh, even if you don't have any piece in hand, you just go like this, okay? And usually the other player also make a bow here and say Arigato gozaimashita. It means thank you. So the game has ended, but we still have something to do. It's post-game discussion. We call it Kansou Sen in Japanese, which means impression game. I must tell you that if you're playing shogi just for fun, you don't need to do this. You can just set up the pieces again and go into the second game or just finish playing Shogi. But if you want to be a strong player, you really should do this post-game discussion. To do that, we set up the pieces again quickly. Uh, you don't need a traditional way of setting up here. and replay the moves that you have played and analyze the game while having discussion with your opponent. You can also just skip the opening part and just discuss about the most critical situations in the game like where you started the attack in the middle game or where you couldn't find a mate in the end game, etc. Shogi beginners always be surprised by how the strong players can remember and replay all the moves that has been played. But actually, it's not something so particular to remember the move once you get used to playing Shogi. Because every move has its reason that it's played, right? So it's like remembering a story. You know, like, he moved like this, 
so I moved like this because something something and so he moved like this and so I moved like this right so I'm sure you'll be able to do this as you keep playing shogi and I guess it's impossible even for professional players to remember random moves without reasons for each one And the uh, typical post-game discussion goes like this. For instance, player A goes, Hey, in this situation, I thought I was doing pretty well, wasn't I? And B goes, Yeah, you're right, I thought I was losing too. But after you moved that bishop, I thought I got my chances again. Oh, is that so? I see, the bishop wasn't good. So what else move is good there? And B goes, well, how about this? I thought you were going to go like that. And A goes, oh, I didn't think of that. That looks good. Something like that. All right, now, finally, you finish playing Shogi. So you make greetings here. You say, arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you very much. And make a bow. And they put all the pieces on the board, like this. And then player A, the superior player, put the pieces in the bag. And you have this, and you have this traditional way of putting them in order, too. First you pick up two kings, and put it. And then the two rooks and you put in the two bishops. And then four golds. And then the four silvers. We do it like this because we want to make sure that all pieces are put back in the bag and no one is lost. And finally, three pawns, three pawns, and three pawns. Six times three pawns. Sometimes player B helps by making groups of three pawns. And in this way, the position of the pieces in the back can be such that when you spread them the next time, you can easily find the king, right? And also, putting all the pieces in one bag reflects the spirit that after the fight, you get back to be friends, because the pieces made battles while separated to this team and that team, but now they're in the same team. Now you put it in the box. And lastly, you make the final bow here. And it's over. That's all for this lesson. Goodbye.